Nothing. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? I'm fine. Okay. You're weird. I know. We're giggling. Why are we giggling? Because you're being goofy. I'm never goofy much. That's what you're going to go with? Never? <laughs> How was your workout? Oh, that's right. We worked out today. Uh, you worked out. I piddled around. Is that right? Uh, so I did um, chest. Okay. Biceps and abs. Okay. Um, yeah, we look good. Strong. A little heavy today. You helped me. I did. I got my spotter. She came over and said, what do you need? I said, I can't get it up. She said, let me help. <laughs> Such a goofball. <laughs> I did arms, or I did some facsimile of arms. Um, I've given up on the gym actually being a reasonable temperature, so I wore a sweatshirt. Right. Um, you might be able to see this is a sweatshirt from way back when I used to play competitive volleyball and a championship we won. Um, the problem with that is, is that I feel really frumpy in the gym when I wear a sweatshirt, mm. and that's not motivating for working out. No? I no. don't think you look frumpy. Yeah, it felt frumpy to Notice me. Notice the eyebrows go up. <laughs> he seems to be uh, watching cute girls in the gym and he only thinks there's one cute girl there. That's right. <laughs> and I got it. Yeah. So, yeah, I did arms and I did a little bit of core. That was the extent for me. Um, so today's fasting day. As you can tell, we're waiting for our hot water to, well, we're waiting for our water to get hot. Right. You can't say I'm waiting for, for the hot, hot water. water. Yeah, that hot. doesn't <laughs> Never mind. Um, so our cups are empty, but it's, it's working on it. But um, we got asked a couple of different times how to... Uh, how, how do I get started being uh, fasting? So we wanted to kind of answer that question. I can't deal with frump, Laura. It makes me feel <laughs> unmotivated and just blah. I mean, I'm not, I don't like arms doing arms anyway. And doing them when you like, look at that. That's like ugly. It's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, so we got asked about how to get started on doing intermittent fasting. So we thought we'd talk about that a little bit today. Did you want to start somewhere? Or do you want me to just jump in? Um. Well, I mean, I would always start off with the documentary. Are you going to start somewhere else? No, yeah, that's good. All right, so we got to start it with um, fasting by watching a documentary called Eat Fast and Live Longer. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Um, it's a British documentary. It is on YouTube. Um, and basically what we liked about that particular one, and, I, and I'm going off on trends, I, off on a tangent. tangent as I tend to do. Ironically, when we watched that the first time, I didn't realize that he was a doctor. Oh, okay. But I don't think they made it clear in the documentary. Okay. But then we went and watched the show that he did on, that they call him you know, Doctor. So that's why I was like, oh, okay. Um, but anyway, in that documentary, he goes through, I believe it was four different types of fasting, mm -hmm. right? Um, which was good because it gave you a, um, a chance to, to look at all the different possibilities. The overviews. Right. Mm -hmm. And then out of that, we chose the 5-2 fast, which ironically was the last one he showed um, for us. Uh, but it gives you an idea. It talks about the science behind it and why it's a good idea. And so that's kind of where we started. Right. And so the science basically is that giving your body a break from insulin and a break from, uh, from processing food is, is a good thing. And thank you, Laura. I appreciate that you think I always look cute. I don't <laughs> always feel cute. Um, <laughs> but giving your body a break from processing food and from insulin gives it a chance to kind of slow down and start looking at things that need to be repaired, whether it's cells that need to be repaired or, you know, maybe you've got a cell that didn't get re replicated correctly and it needs to be, you know, killed off or whatever. It just gives your body a break and it does make you, you know, leaner in a different way than just dieting makes you. And I can't really explain it. Um, I've talked to a couple of different people who fasted and they all say the same thing. It just makes you lean in a different way. Yeah. So that, that's good. But, so then people come to us and they're like, how do I start? I don't even know where to start. So the first thing I always ask people is, well, how long do you fast currently? You know, what, what time do you finish eating at night and what time do you start eating in the morning? So, so that's a good point. Actually, we all fast, whether we think we do or not. Right. Mm. So, the, you know, if you finish eating, let's say, 8 o'clock at night and then you don't eat breakfast again until 7 o'clock in the morning, you're already going 11 hours. Right. And I think there's a lot of people who eat breakfast because they feel like they should because, oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's malarkey. It was made up by the breakfast cereal yes. corporations. Exactly. Breakfast isn't any more important than any other meal of the day. It's not a big deal if you don't want to eat breakfast. Um, and the foods that most Americans eat for breakfast are better crap anyway. Don't right. eat them anyway. Right. But 
you know, so why are you eating breakfast? How do you feel when you eat breakfast? Are you actually hungry or are you eating because you should? Are you drinking coffee that's loaded with sugar that mm. ramps your metabolism? I mean, ramps your insulin and, but doesn't actually give you any nutrients. So th that's the first question when I start working with somebody who wants to add intermittent fasting is what are you doing currently and what does that look like? And what would it look like if you extended that out by two hours? Right. You know, what if you waited, if you're eating breakfast now at seven, what if you waited till nine? What if you just waited till lunch? And I've definitely found that a lot of people are, are pretty successful doing what's called a feeding window, which is every day they eat between certain hours. Like right. maybe they start eating at 10 o'clock in the morning and they get finished with dinner by six o'clock at night and then they don't eat in between mm -hmm. those hours. Now, obviously, if you have a social life, that can be a little bit difficult because most people go out to dinner later than that at night. Yeah. So then you have to kind of shift it. And the, the more you can kind of crunch that feeding window in, the better. I'm, I have one person who only eats one meal a day and she likes to eat dinner. And so she eats between like four and I think seven every day. And she eats all of her calories for the day in, in that, that window, window. Yeah. every single day. And so that's the kind of intermittent fasting she does. And then there are exceptions if she has an event or something she has to do, there are exceptions. But for the most part, every day she just eats in that window. And that is working really well for her. She's already lost a good bit of weight doing that kind right. of fasting. Um, so, you know, look at that. Is that an option for you to change the way, the times when you eat? And that that's intermittent fasting as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can do what we do, which is pick two days a week. I think that doing a 24 hour fast, your body takes a little longer to learn to do it effectively. I think it took us about seven weeks. Yeah. The first couple of times we did it were really easy. It was like, oh, this is a breeze. And then all of a sudden our bodies were like, wait, we don't like this, not at yeah. all. And, if, and, and of course, from what we've read and what you've, you've read as well, I mean, more than I have, I should say, is that the 12 hour is the key, right? You have to get at least the 12 hours to get the benefits of fasting. If you can do 12 hours a day, every day, you're gonna get benefits from intermittent fasting. Right. Um, so there's kind of different markers. There's the 12 hour mark, which is kind of, if you can do that every day, you're, that's great for it's you. Golden, yeah. um, then there's an 18 hour mark, where if you can make it to 18 hours, there's another like, oh yay, you made another, it through that. Another level of benefit. Right, yeah. then there's 24, and then the next one is 36. Now we have never tried to do a 36 hour. I think, Nor do I want to. I think the longest we've gone is 26. Yeah. And that's just because just we, we typically do out. between 22 and 26, depending upon how the timing of our meals go. Right. We're not. And how busy we are during the day. Yeah. Right. But um, I think, the, and there are other options. There's some options where you can do like three days or four days once a month or, you know, a week, once a quarter. I wouldn't say do that unless you're under the doctor's care right. a doctor's care who understands intermittent fasting right. um, because that for me at least is but my knowledge is not such that I would recommend that someone do that on a regular basis with me as their support now, system I mean unless it's for health reasons um, it's just not a pleasant experience to not eat for four days or for any length of period of time. well and I know we um, was it dr. Esselstein or which doctor was it who was putting doing the ten day fasts? Oh, for that wasn't that was. Um, it wasn't any of the. Was main it four. Lyle? Maybe it was Lyle. It wasn't any of our main. But uh, they were taking like majorly diabetic people and putting them on water fasts for ten right. days, and it was reversing their diabetes in ten days, which is pretty impressive. Yes. But I can't imagine doing a water fast for ten no, days. It does seem crazy. For me personally, but. So yeah, the whole point of that getting getting started is is about looking at where you are now and then seeing what fits for you right. into your current lifestyle. Right, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, for us, the the, the um, like like you said, the five the five two works for us. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it now for how long? Six months, seven months. Since July. Since July, um, so it works for us. It's what we found to be the perfect remedy. Um, but, it, you know, look at the different options and, and see which one's going to work for you. Try different ones. And we do, I mean, we, we told you guys, I think it was two weeks ago, there was a fasting day that I just wasn't, I didn't eat enough the day before and I wasn't okay. I was really grumpy. I was unhappy. I wasn't, my brain was foggy and I was like, this isn't working for me today. And so we just didn't. We decided to eat lunch at noon that day and, and 
we didn't fast that day. So even that was what an 18, 19 hour fast. Yeah, it was. And so it, it still was, got benefit, but right. it, we weren't. It wasn't the twenty four we usually do. But that's the thing, you know. You can decide today it's going to work, or today it's not going to work, right. or I'm going to do sixteen and I'm going to be happy with that. There's no right or wrong way to do it as long as you're taking care of your body. Right. Now we do drink a lot of water, and that I think that's an important factor is that you have to stay hydrated if you're going to do this consistently because that's that's going to be what helps your body. You know, flush out and what if it's if it's processing toxins and removing stuff, and that's what you want it to do because that's the whole point of fasting. You need to give it some water to be able to make sure all that flushes through like it should. Exactly. exactly. So I think that's important. But getting started isn't as hard. It's like there's no fancy anything to it. You just decide. Oh, you know what? Today I'm gonna. You know. Today's the day. I'm gonna be busy and I'm not gonna. I'm right. not gonna eat. And it, it does add time to your day. You know, those people who say, Oh, you know what? I don't have time. Fasting doesn't take any time. It actually right. adds time because you don't time. have to the eat. The time you take away to eat, you're yeah, not doing exactly. it. Yeah, so exactly. You get more done. Yeah. yeah, like Bridge said, you just decide. Right. You just exactly. say, okay, today I'm going to do it. Today I'm going to um, do it. So, and, you know, if you're looking for encouragement around that, we do have on the r and Journey page, um, rnrjourney.com, there's a community page that I monitor and answer questions and engage. So if you're looking for support around that kind of thing, you can definitely join our website. Yes. And there's a, there's a, we're building a community of people who are into, into this kind of healthy, figure out what does right. it look like, no judgment. We're not, you know, yes. hardcore yelling, not yelling at anybody, no, no expectations. No political Every, statements. Everybody's on their <laughs> own path and we're, you know, we're just being supportive right. and helpful of each other. So yeah. if you're looking for that kind of support, you can do that. Or, you, you know, you if you want just a consultation, those are available too, where you can reach out and book a consultation and I can help you kind of figure out well, how does this fit into your life. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different options of support that we're offering for people who want to either go start moving toward or adding more whole food plant based to their lifestyle or um, who want to do some intermittent fasting. And if you want to start adding exercise, we have this great exercise expert guy. Oh, I was going to do the chest thing. You keep, I keep getting that nudge to do it. <laughs> Eventually you guys are going to get that silly chest thing that he does. His mother hates it, <laughs> which is hysterical. <laughs> But so there's a lot of options for support out there for all these different things we're talking about. Um, for those of you who are local, I want to remind you that tomorrow, Friday, we are speaking at the Newark Natural Store. We went by there yesterday to see the space and, and talk to their marketing person. Yeah. They're super excited. They're actually a little bit concerned that there's going to be a really big turnout. And I'm like, why would you be concerned that there's going to be right. a big turnout? That's actually kind of cool. Right. I mean, it's a big room. It is. I mean, they have room for 300 people. Yeah, exactly. So We're not worried about that. Right. But if you're available on Friday um, the 2nd at 6 o'clock, 6 to 7, um, come a little early and, and network with other people. Right. Stay, plan on staying a little after to you know talk and ask questions with everybody else that's going to be there. Right. Um, I think it's going to be a good time. And stay afterward to do a little bit of networking as well. I said that. Oh, did yes, you? Yes. You don't well, listen to me well, you sometimes. Know gonna, you know what I was going to add is then they can also go up to the um, store, which will still be open, and pick up some organic foods and, and some, you know, things like that. Yeah, so. they have a lot of a good selection of stuff. And they yeah. aren't just exclusively whole food plant-based. They do have animal products there. Right. Um, we only obviously buy plants right, there. Right. But so you could even eat there if, if you want to, yeah. you know, I mean, they have a, uh, I don't know, if it's not a delicatessen, is it? I don't know what that is. They but have a little place. And, and they, have, deli they have and they have vegetarian vegan options. options, vegan options, and, of course, Omnivore. frown omnivore option. <laughs> Bridget, it would be so fun if you could come. I know it's far to come from Well, if you get on the plane now, no, just kidding. <laughs> we have to, you know what we have to do? We have to start finding places that'll fly us in to where all, you, all of you guys are so we can do these events in those places. Right. So we can see all of our friends all over the country that right. watch our videos. That would be awesome. That would be fun. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but if you're getting value out of these, please do like and share. That would that would help us out a lot. We appreciate it. Come by our website and check it out. And if, if you're so inclined, become a member. Um, we'd love to have you join us as a member on our website so you can see our journals where we put our food and right. our workouts and, and, and our community. recipes and the community. And there's all kinds of fun stuff. And we're constantly adding to it, trying to find more and more ways to create value on that website um, for, for our members that join. And if you... Would like to see something else in there as a member? Uh, let us know. Definitely. We'll see how we can work see it in. We can work it in definitely. Absolutely. And we um, just added a support button so that those of you who are getting value um, and you know feel like you want to help us be able to continue to do this and make this difference on the planet, you have a way right. to, to do that. Because somebody was like, "I want to help you, but I, there's no way." Okay, well we can fix that. <laughs> right, exactly. 
Um, yeah, and that also allows us to be able to do keep doing seminars and talks, you know, for free, basically. Right, right? for the just, community, so we can we let can just show up know. and help people and give and give them the knowledge that we are you know, that gathering. we're gaining. Yeah, right, absolutely. Exactly. So, um, what else do I have to say? Is there something else? I need? Oh, our newsletter went out yesterday, so hopefully you guys got it. Those of you who are on our mailing list, if you're not on the mailing list and you want to be, you can either send me a PM here with your email address on Facebook, or you can go to the website and join um, our newsletter. At the, it's at the top right on the computer screen. Right. And even with the newsletter, that's, that's the same thing with that. Is We are trying to improve everything we're doing to make it more beneficial for the folks that are uh, paying attention. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me. If you have any comments about the newsletter, if you received it, if you'd like to see something that's not on there, um, you know. Let us know. We are open know. to feedback. I mean, that's the whole point here is we're trying to make it for you guys. So Absolutely. And so if you, if you do start intermittent fasting, let us know yes. how that's working for you. Um, I have several people who periodically give me an update on how their fasting is going. And I, I really enjoy hearing that. And we enjoy it's, being able yeah. to say, yay, that's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic so. when we run into people or they call us or they reach out message to us yeah. and say this happened i did this and this happened and we're like yes that's very good. good that's good so <laughs> clapping <laughs> so i think that's what we have today before you just wanted to talk a little bit about intermittent yeah. fasting since we're doing that today yeah. i'm i'm i've apparently turned into a food photographer because i'm trying to take some pictures for the uh, slides that we're doing for tomorrow. the talk tomorrow so i have food i need to take pictures of the fact that your husband's lost uh, 20 pounds is just impressive. It I is. mean, it's awesome. We lost 20 pounds, yep. 15 in the first 10 weeks, and then five kind of dribbled off right. somewhere. I don't and know. And we leveled off, which is just what so, you want to do. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's impressive. And what's impressive to me is that he was willing to do it. Right. Because I know when you first started this, he was a little bit like, hmm. But so we're talking about Bridget's husband. He he he's on board, and her kids are too. Yeah, so which is amazing. As a family, they're they're on board. Cheers with, to you guys with the sure. whole food plant based thing. Are you? I don't know if your kids are fasting. I would imagine probably not. That's I think, a probably a little tougher as you're growing. I don't know if you. Yeah, want to worry about I think fasting. the grown ups are. Um, but yeah, exactly. Poo pooed it, and now he's like on board and buying yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, Bridget, that's a, that's a good point. Um, because I, I, I know a lot of people like this. It's their first reaction. It's never. I can't. No. Right? But when you start doing it and you start seeing the benefits, you just want to do more. I mean, that's just human nature, right? Because it I works. Mean, it's, how, it's why gambling works. That's why <laughs> casinos work. You put that, that nickel in and you win five bucks and all of a sudden, I like this. So you go play the ten dime and then the quarter and then the dollar and then the five dollar machines. I mean, it's how things work. When things Fortunately... Intermittent fasting is actually healthy for And you. it doesn't cost you any money. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Actually, that's cheaper. to cost you less. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it's, there's always, you know, it's a guarantee income. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's the thing. It does. It, there are results. And even if you only, you know, do it for 12 hours at first right. and then you stretch it out a little bit, you're going to see results from it. Right. As, assuming you aren't eating processed junk in right. between. Exactly. I, I guess I have to make that caveat. Right. If you're eating... Ho-hos and chicken wings. No, everything, and, everything we talk about is still about eating a whole food, plant-based diet. And being healthy. A I lifestyle. Mean, yeah. And um, when you, if you watch uh, eat, eat Fast and Live Longer, they do an omnivore diet in between. Right. And I feel like, why would you undo everything you just did? One of, one of the fasting things that he does, which is, a, which is 24 hours you eat, 24 hours you don't. 24 hours you eat, 24 right, hours you on don't. Right, off. The person who takes him through, who, who's telling him about this type of fasting, takes him to Sonic. Which is crazy. Because her, 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 her thing, which we disagree with, I just want to get a record with that, uh, is that it doesn't matter what you eat, as long as you're not eating one day, eating the next. You, your body still needs good nutrition. I don't care how you roll the dice. Right, you know, I agree Your body with that. still needs nutrients and it still needs good nutrition. So for us, our recommendation is do intermittent fasting and whatever that looks like for you and however you can make it work in your lifestyle and then eat healthy in between. That's right. going to give you your best benefit. You know, why undo it right. by eating junk? Exactly. So, um, I guess we'll, we'll stop blathering at you. I'm going to go take a shower and maybe <laughs> yeah. not feel so I think so you said perfect. we were done five minutes ago. I know. I'm failing at finishing. <laughs> it's a sad state yeah. of affairs. Well, we like these people so much. We, we just do. don't want to leave. And then they talk to us. They talk and to that's us. Fun. So that's all good stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's great to see all of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks Thank for you. chatting with us. It's always good. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with I don't know what subject, but yeah, I'm sure we'll I'll figure find it out. Yeah. If I get a chance to do some research about the pear versus apple shape, um, I will, maybe we'll talk about that. Okay. Thank you for the hearts. That's Thank fun. You. That is fun. Um, going to say goodnight, Gracie. I'm going to say goodnight, Gracie.
<laughs> and so with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.